Hi, this is Andrea Walford, founder of Sunny Stampin' Incorporated and Paper Crafters Library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the variation on the faux glacine technique I showed when I created the paper for this card here. In this video, I'm going to show you a variation which I call the faux marbled and stained glassine technique. And you can see it in this flower and this flower on this project here. Creating the faux marbled and stained glassine is similar to creating the faux glassine look except for two key differences. The first is that you don't want your tissue paper to be smooth. In fact, we're going to deliberately create wrinkles with the tissue paper when we apply it to our transparency. The second difference is that we're not going to dry the tissue paper in between our applications of our multi-medium mat. So you're going to need the same supplies though. You're going to need a tissue paper, your transparency, a heat tool, your multimedium, and a paintbrush to apply the multimedium. So you're going to start by applying a coat of the multimedium on the transparency. And you want a fairly thick coat. And I'm also using a damp a damp brush for this. It'll thin the multi-medium just a little bit and help um, help the medium soak into the tissue paper. So and I'm just making sure that I that I bring the medium right up to the edge and when you when my brush just went out of sight of the camera what I did was I just dipped it into, I have a little tub of water here beside me and I just dipped the very point of the tip into the water. So now as I take my tissue paper and I lay it on top of my transparency, I'm kind of leaving air bubbles because as you can see here, what I'm doing with my hands is I'm creating little creases and wrinkles in the tissue paper. Now again, don't worry if your tissue paper rips a little bit. You can see mine did here. It's very fragile and you just, you're simply just going to use the areas that didn't rip because what we're going to, what I'm going to do with this for, to create the stained part is I'm going to be die cutting it. So now I'm going to dampen my brush a little bit and I just blotted off the excess water on my tissue paper and then I'm picking up more multi-medium and I'm painting right away. So if we were doing this with just the faux glassine look, I wouldn't be brushing on my medium yet. I would be drying this with my heat tool. When creating this look, I actually want my tissue paper to become quite damp. You really want it to saturate with the medium and a little bit of the water because that's what's going to make it look more transparent than when we created the faux glassine. So now that I've got my multimedium all over the surface of this, I've, I'm just dipping my brush in the bucket beside me. And I'll just show you here. I'll bring the bucket over so you can see what I'm doing. So if you can see the tip of my brush, I'm just touching it to the surface. So it maybe went into the water about an eighth of an inch. So not very far at all. I just wanted to pick up a little bit of the water. And I'm just gently, you don't want to apply too much pressure because if you apply too much pressure you can create too many tears in your tissue paper. And then once you have your entire piece of tissue paper coated, you can then go ahead with your heat tool. And now what you want to do is you want to heat it until it's completely dry. So now one of the things that I mentioned when I filmed the full glass scene video is that you do want to make sure that your transparencies that you're you're doing this on or your acetate sheets they are um, designed to withstand high temperatures so the one that I'm using is um, transparencies that are for photocopiers and I bought it in this pack of 100 sheets and it can withstand the heat of my heat tool which um, heat tools as you know heat up to about between 375 to 400 degrees. So as you can see, this hasn't warped or buckled or anything like anything at all like that. So make sure that if you do use a heat tool, that it is the, your transparency is resistant to high temperatures. If you cannot get transparencies that are um, that can withstand high temperatures, then don't use the heat tool. You're going to have to let this air dry. So now that um, it's dry, I'm just going to trim the edges and I'm just using a regular pair of scissors 
and I'm using the edge of my transparency as a guide. So we're now done creating the glassine piece and we're now ready to move on to the next step. So to stain it, rather than staining the whole sheet at once, what I want to do is I want to die cut the pieces that I'm going to stain because then that way I'm only staining what I'm using and then I have the rest of this piece that I can set aside and use for another project. So I'm going to be using the Island Floral Blossom die um, from Stampin' Up to die cut my flower shapes. So to stain your faux marbled glassine die cut pieces, which you can see here I die cut using the Island Floral die from Stampin' Up, you're going to need to choose some ink refill colors. And I have um, Rose Red and Peach Parfait. You're going to need some water in a spray bottle. It's handy to have a little paintbrush. Tweezers will also um, let you hold this in place while you're heating it. So you're going to need a heat tool and I would also suggest having some paper towels around and then of course the last thing if you don't want to get your fingers all stained because this will stain your fingers is having some of these vinyl gloves is always handy as well and an optional material that you can use is some kind of a shimmery spritz so here I just have the um, smooch spritz I think this one is the white frost, I think that's what it's called anyways. And so I'm just gonna be using that. Now that, you don't have to use that if you want, if you don't want to. Now one of the things that I will mention is that this technique works better with darker colors of the ink refills. I tried this with very light colors and you just don't get, um, it just doesn't pick up the color enough. So this works, is much better when you're using the um, more intense colors. So I'm gonna start with a larger piece which I'm gonna be dyeing with the Peach Parfait. So what you first off want to do is to take your shimmer spray, if you're using any, and then just make sure that the shimmer is mixed around into the solution. I had already pre-mixed pre, uh, this up. And then you just want to spritz your mat a couple times. Now here I'm using the Ranger Non-Stick Craft Mat. Um, if you don't have one of these, I really like this because it has a slick non, it's a slick non-porous surface so you can work on on this doing this kind of technique or um, if you don't have it you can use a uh, piece of wax paper you could probably even work on a tray like a cookie tray or a cookie sheet or something like that so as you can see I've dripped one drip of the peach parfait and I'm just gonna drip one more and I dripped it right into my smooch sp spritz and I'm gonna take my little paintbrush and I'm just gonna swirl this solution around mix it up really well and then I'm going to take my die cut piece and I'm just going to lay it which I'm going to put on my glove here because I don't want to get my fingers all stained this orangey color right now and I'm just going to lay this piece inside the stain and I'm just going to rub it in there to pick it up and you do want it to really press it down and let it kind of soak in and saturate into the piece and you can use the brush to brush it around a little bit. So I'm just picking up now the extra color that's on my mat and just brushing it on to my piece. And what you notice, and this is where the, the kind of marbling comes in and where these little creases come in, is that where the creases are, the color of the ink gathers in those creases. Now if you find that because of the addition of the um, spritz in there to dilute it, the color's not quite dark enough, you can take your bottle of reinker again and you can actually drip some directly on your die cut piece and then use your paintbrush to move it around. And I'm really trying to work the color into where my creases and my cracks are. So now I'm just going to take a paper towel and these are the same kind of paper towels you find in restrooms. I bought a big box of them at Costco and I find they're fantastic for this kind of an application. I'm just going to clean up my area of the excess ink, lay my die cut piece on top of that and actually I'm just going to clean off my glove too, which is all full of ink. 
And then I'm going to take my heat tool and I'm now going to dry this. So here you can see I now have this gorgeous stained and marbled piece. Um, one of the things that I do want to mention, if you find after you dry it, because one of the things you'll notice is that your piece is going to lighten in color as you dry it, and that's why the really light colors don't work as well, is because they lighten to so light that you just don't get that beautiful stained effect. So if you find after drying that your color is not as intense as you'd like, that's where you can take some more reinker and brush it on and then heat it a second time. So you can build layers of color. So in this project here, you can see an example of how I've used my faux marbled and stained glassine. The trick, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, when you've created your faux glassine piece that has the marbling texture in it, is that you always want to die cut your shapes or whatever it is you're planning on using it for first before you stain it. And then that way you get maximum use of the paper that you've created. Well, if you enjoy the way I teach and you'd like to learn even more, then I invite you to join the Paper Crafters Library. What is Paper Crafters Library? It's an online library of paper crafting video tutorials. Whether your interest is in card making, scrapbooking, gifts and 3D items, stamping or altered art, we teach you how to make the most of your products, we teach you new skills and techniques, and we share great project ideas.